We are ready to wrap presents, so we figured we would go ahead and share with you guys what we got our kids for Christmas this year. My name is Vanessa. If you guys are new, this is my husband, Mark. And if you guys are coming back to watch another video, welcome. Thank you guys so much. Today is Christmas Day, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic one, spending it with your loved ones, your family, your friends, whatever makes you happy today. We are going to share what we got our kids for Christmas. Now, obviously, we're not filming this on Christmas. You guys are just seeing it on Christmas. We are getting ready to wrap. So we figured we would go ahead and show you guys and we waited or I waited later this year because my kids in public school, I just didn't want to ruin any surprises. <laughs> but I did want to go ahead, disclaimer, if you guys have children watching and you don't want them to know certain things, we are going to be talking a little bit about Santa and things like that. So if you have little ones around, I would not recommend them watch this video. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. Also, I know everybody's budget is different um, and everybody's family does Christmas different. We are just sharing what we like to do for our family. So I hope you guys understand that and you are kind as always in the comments. Anything else? It's a judgment free zone here, people. That's right, yeah. judgment free judgment zone. Free zone. Um, so one thing we, has, we started several years ago and this is actually the strictest I think we have been with this rule. For sure. For several years we have done the, what is it, four? Want, yes. Need. The four gift read, rule, read. which is want, wear, need, read, and then Santa brings gifts as well. However, in the past we have taken those categories and done several within. Mm -hmm. And this year I think we did a pretty good job sticking to like one within, actually like two within each category. <laughs> Yeah, but they're like go together. Yeah. They're like wrapped together and all that good stuff. So if you guys are new, we have four children. They range from 15, our oldest Paige, a girl, is 15. She'll be 16 in the summertime. And then we have a son, Bryce, who is eight. He'll be nine in January, so just a few weeks away. And then we have twins, Rose and Pearl, who turned to seven in November. So that's kind of the age, age range we have going on. And I think we're going to do oldest to youngest, right? Right. Right. So we're going to show you guys what we got for Paige, tell you the category, what's in it, and also what Santa is bringing her as well. So let's get started. Also, real quick, we, I don't think we paid full price for any of this. Did we? No, yeah, like, everything was Black Friday. Or we did all deals. of our shopping Black Friday through actually like Wednesday because you guys know it's not Black Friday anymore. It's like <laughs> Tuesday, Black, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Black like Monday. Black Week. <laughs> yeah. It's like all week long. Yeah. Um, so we did our shopping over the sale weekend. We started Thursday with some sales on Black Friday and then also Cyber Monday and Amazon deals. Um, and throughout the, probably throughout the year too. I mean, a couple Yeah, of a few of these things we've picked out throughout the year. So we're going to start with Paige, like I said. And her want is not really, she didn't ask for it, but she had a TV in our old house. Um, and she, I mean, she watched, she had it on all the time. Yeah. On the background, doing things, whatever, music, listening to music on it, all that good stuff. So that's what we decided to get her for this year. Get that in. And I don't know if I can get this, but we got this from, <laughs> sorry, where did we get here? Both of us need to hold it. Where did we get this from? Um, Target? Um, Walmart? Somewhere. Walmart is, or Target. Yeah. That's pretty much where we did all of our shopping in Amazon. Walmart, yeah, Target, Amazon. So we got her this. This is actually a very nice TV, yep. I feel like. It's yep. a 4K TCL 43-inch smart TV. So awesome, awesome sauce. And then so that is her a want. And then to go with that, obviously, got we her. got a mount also. Um, and this one is a full motion because her room, she has several different spots that she sits at in her room so she can move it wherever right. she wants. Cool. So that is Paige's want. So her need, I actually already shared a video on all four of the kids, their need. Uh, a few days ago, nope, like a week ago, a week ago, um, <laughs> my parents took all four kids overnight and Mark put together 
all of their needs. So if you guys want to see what that was, I will have that video linked up in the iCards and in the description box as well. So you guys can check that out and see their reaction and all of that to their need. So they got that ahead of time because it was just needed. It was needed for them to get their need ahead of time mm -hmm. <laughs> because of how big and how time consuming right. the put together process was. So we're going to skip her need. We're going to skip all of their needs and we're going to go to her wear. So for her wear, her main thing, the only thing she asked for was Shane Dawson March. Like she wanted everything. However, I went online. It was probably a couple hours after his website went live with like fully stopped. And the only thing I could snag that wasn't sold out in her size was the hoodie, which I was a little bummed because she wanted the, the cup, the travel mug or whatever it was, and then she wanted the joggers as well, the little sweatpants. So I was only able to get this, but that's okay. She's still gonna love it. So this is part of her wear. And then since I knew she wanted joggers, Mark and I actually saw these at Costco, which are very similar to the ones that Shane Dawson has. They just don't have his logo or anything on it. So they're just black joggers, so we got that. And then also at Costco, I saw these and I thought they were super cute. So she loves cats. Paige is a cat person. Um, so these have little cats on it. And then it's a two pack and I knew I had gotten her the pink hoodie. So I thought that this would be super cute that she could wear this over the joggers and she would still look super cute in that outfit. So those three things are what we got for her for her wear. All right, so for her read, I it's actually kind of different this year. Um, well, not this one, but she is very artistic. She loves to draw, she loves to paint, she loves to write. So she did ask for a fantasy type drawing book. So I saw this one online and I ordered that. I thought she would like it. It is fantasy characters, how to draw fantastic beings and incredible creatures. I'll show you guys some of the inside. There we go. But yeah, she is very, very talented. Definitely does not get her artistic ability from me. <laughs> Just kidding, I can't draw a circle. <laughs> so we got her that one. And then she has been really loving all the like CSI type shows. What is the one that she's yeah, watching? She likes NCIS. NCIS. Yeah. Like she gets so excited. She'll come tell me what happened in the season <laughs> that she's watching. And that's a big oh my gosh. Stuff, yes. Yeah. Like she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe what happened. I can't wait to watch the next one. So she asked for some like forensic science type books. And I saw this one. So I thought she would like it. It's forensic science crime scene analysis. So I got that for her. And then we went ahead and got some bookmarks. We happened to be in Barnes and Noble picking up some books for my grandfather. And these, you know how they always have the, like the little impulse buys in the line? Well, it was like a whole cap of bookmarks. And I was like, you know what? I don't think any of our kids have any bookmarks. And now that they have their own rooms and night lights and stuff like that, if they want to read at night, it would be nice for them to be able to save their page. So went ahead and got this to go with her books. And it's just a magnetic page marker and it has a whole bunch of different kinds of cactus on them. So got that for her. So that was her read. So that is everything that uh, us as parents gift to our kids. Then Santa has decided to bring three gifts this year. And this is something that changes throughout the years. It just depends on the amount that we've spent or what we really want the kids to receive that year and that kind of thing. So this year, Santa ended up getting three gifts and the, well, one of them, I'm actually going to insert a picture here because we didn't bring the box in here. Cause it's big. It's way too big. So she requested a treadmill and this was something that we kind of went back and forth on because I don't know, I know she'll use it, but I want to use it too. <laughs> so it's not really a gift for her. For her yeah. Like I know she'll know that we're going to use it too, but it's one of the things that she really requested and she knows that we'll, we'll use it also. Yeah. We have a little so, exercise room. Yeah. So I went back and forth on just buying it for her, for us or 
incorporating it as a Christmas gift and because of the price, we were like, you know what, it's gonna be a Christmas gift. Right, it's a big We're not just gonna deal. get it, yes. Right. So we got her a treadmill. I'll try to find the picture and I've already popped it up so you guys can see which one. We actually got a foldable one. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to move and all of that good stuff. But it was one of those things where it was a really good, yes. good deal. Yeah, so. like, I mean, we did not pay full price for any of the big ticket items. Um, I mean, we paid full price for the joggers and the books and that kind of stuff, but those are lower. Yep. ticket item. So, uh, the number two, this one, oh my gosh, whatever. We got our gift card. Santa's giving her a gift card. And that's just because she's 15 going on like 21. Yeah. And what do you get her? Exactly. Like, what do you get? I want you guys to let me know what your teenagers are into, your girls, and what you buy them and stuff like that. I mean, one thing that would have been great for her for Christmas this year is because she's obsessed with Shane Dawson was his palette. However, there is no way we were going to be able to save that for Christmas because she knew that he was coming out with something. She had been saving her money and she bought that. Right. And I was like, dang, that would have been a great Christmas present. But I mean, whatever. This way she can go buy whatever she wants. So we kind of just limp put the amount on here that the other kids got. So it was kind of the same ish. So that's what, she's getting from Santa a $50 Visa gift card. That way she can spend it wherever she wants on whatever she wants. Last thing from Santa, um, this was another thing that was kind of different this year. Like she's definitely asked for some different things. And this was on her wish list. It is an electric kettle. And let's see, it says Smart Tea Master. It is glass. Um, it also is not just um, like a plug-in, it has this little what base, is that? A base. a base, yes. It, I, it's pretty fancy and it looks really cool. It has a strainer in the middle where she can put her tea in and then start it. So it's not just boiling hot water in right. a kettle. She can actually make her tea inside here. So I thought that was really cool. And this will be something that, I mean, if she takes good care of it and all of that good stuff that she can take with her when she moves. Like this is something that she'll have right away for her kitchen. She loves to make tea. She loves to make hot water for like hot chocolate and stuff like that. So I know she'll like this. And I think she'll be a little surprised to see that she's getting it. Yeah. Uh, because something she puts on her list and I don't think she like thinks that she's gonna get them. I don't know. It just seems random sometimes, the stuff that she puts on her list. Yeah. And I was, just, I was a little surprised this year on what she asked for. Like some of her stocking stuffer things, we didn't make a video on that, but Maybe I'll post a picture or something on Instagram. She wanted to make like latte art, do the little foam on the top. So she has like the little, what are those called? Little discs with like the stencils, like a coffee stencil. She's getting that. I don't know. It was just weird. Yeah. I feel like it was different shopping. She's she here. Yeah. She's definitely very creative and the things that she asked for, I don't feel like are typical teen girl things, nope. but that's it. That's all we got. This is definitely one of the smaller Christmases that we've had, but I feel like it's, it's one of the most expensive also, just right. because of the things that we got everybody. So that's what we got our 15 year old girl. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going in age order. We're gonna show you guys what we got for our son Bryce, who is almost nine. Okay, so for our son Bryce, his want, oh my, I cannot wait to see his face, like for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is gonna go ballistic. <laughs> and uh, you guys, oh my gosh, this is another thing. Like, I wanna put a poll. Do you guys think children should have TVs in their bedrooms? Because this is something that Mark has worn me down on. I was a strict no. I grew up with no TV in my bedroom. Nothing like that. I mean, electronics were, it was a strict thing in my house. Whereas Mark I had, TV, had everything. Place, whatever, <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was just, it was just me and my brother, you know, which was just you and your brother. So yeah. it was just, just different. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, I mean, he's been wearing me down for years. Like, no, he, he needs his own TV in his room. He's got a bunch of sisters. He needs his own like safe place to mm -hmm. go. He needs a place for him and his buddies. Yes. He's at that age where they're really going to start having sleepovers, especially during mm -hmm. the summertime and stuff. Yeah. So they can just hang out. Yeah. So. Don't be bothered by a bunch of girls. Bryce's, is this the right way? Uh, you could do either way. This both has a pretty ways? picture on the front. Okay. So let's both hold this. So we did get Bryce a TV also as his want. 
So we got him a 40 inch. Um, it is not 4K. It this is a smart TV, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, because it doesn't say that on here. I think it is. It should be. It better be. It should. You can't even see it in here. But <laughs> so big. This one we got Target. Actually, we got this before Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Because Target was already starting to do some really good deals. Um, so we got this one. I'm pretty sure this is. It does not say Smart TV anywhere on this box. Uh oh. Well, he has. Well, never mind. Oops. But one of his, one sworn, of his other gifts is going to. Well, he can do stuff on his other gifts. True. Gift. But. And he got a mount also. Yes. The, yeah. um, so we got. I'm like still like, what the heck? I could have sworn we got a Smart TV. Oh, well, yeah. whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, fail. But yes, we <clears throat> got him a mount at IKEA. Let's move this box. Okay. Um, and if you guys are looking for mounts, like Ikea is definitely the cheapest place for TV mounts. Um, and we just got him a regular one because I don't want him like touching the TV and trying to move it anywhere. It's, we're going to put it up and that's where it's going to stay. So um, he just has, I don't think that's a smart TV. Yeah. Oh well. I could have sworn it said smart TV and that's why we bought it. Oh well. I mean, you know, when you're Christmas shopping. Maybe Santa will bring in something whatever. that can use that way. That's right. All right. So that is his mm -hmm. want, his need. Again, we're skipping over that because we've already shared that in a previous video. It'll be in the description. So his wear, I'm going to have to pop up a picture because I am a little disappointed. But I, I sort of understand. It is coming from overseas. But all three of our younger kids really like watching morgues morgues mm -hmm. is that the channel name uh, i think so i'll yeah. list it in the description box if you guys want to check it out if you don't know who i'm talking about but um he's just this guy who does like pranks and stuff like that and of course the kids love it so they really wanted some of his merch and i went online on black friday mm -hmm. the 27th and ordered it and it said it was going to be here by christmas but it hasn't even shipped yet so and mm -hmm. it's what the 22nd we're filming this on the 22nd so I, I don't know, but they're supposed to be getting Morgs merch. So I'll have a picture of what I ordered Bryce. This is something that he had on his want list. And then I also got him a pair of pants, just a regular, nothing fancy pair of pants to go with that hoodie. But since it's not in, in time, actually, I think I got them t-shirts, t-shirts or hoodies. I don't remember, but since it didn't come in in time, we did get a, another top just so he has something to yeah. unwrap and then whenever that stuff gets here we'll just give it to them but we picked this up at costco it's actually really nice so it is hurley yeah hurley and it's just a nice sweater in a navy blue so i think he'll like it it feels comfortable but that's his wear okay so for bryce's read you guys have probably if you are not new and you watch everything you already know what my three young kids have for their read because i shared it in a vlog earlier in the school year. Um, I always pick up books whenever the school has their Scholastic Book Fair. So I picked up two for Bryce that were on his wish list. One was he wanted his own journal and he loves Pokemon. So I got this Pokemon journal. It does have a lock and key on there. So he will love that. And then he really loves Minecraft stories, whether they are comic book style or chapter books. I believe this is a comic book style. Yeah. Yes. So this is popular MMOs. Do they have a channel also? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they have a channel also presents enter the mine. He actually got the other one at a previous book fair right. and this was like the next one. So this is the other one that we got him. He is going to absolutely love that. And then we also picked them or we also picked Bryce up. Some bookmarks as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Those are Harry Potter. Yes, mm. Harry Potter. So exciting! They actually had a ton of different kinds at Barnes and Noble. If you guys have a Harry Potter fan, they had all of the girl characters. They, they had, had the, the, the villains. The, the, yeah, the villains. They had the, some of the creatures. Creatures, and we got this one. It has Harry, um, Hagrid, Hedwig, and Dobby. Oh my gosh, I had a brain fart you gotta watch the second. movies i know and dobby so i think he's gonna love those so yeah. that is everything that mark and i are gifting to bryce now i'm going to show you guys what santa is going to give him all right so the first one this is actually the first big set 
the, yeah, big, big he set. has ever had. Yeah. So I think he is going to be super excited. And this is perfect because he does love Harry Potter and he actually just finished a Harry Potter themed Lego camp that um, we signed him up for at school. And he's already built several of the smaller right. um, boxes of these. So I think he's going to be super excited to see this. And this is an awesome kit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we did get this at Target when they had their Legos on sale. There's the back. So it says for ages 9 to 14, and it's 878 pieces. So again, this is the first big Lego kit that he's he will have ever had. He's always had the, right. the smaller boxes. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to be very exciting. He's going to love that. I'm going to love putting that together with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think this is going to be fun, too. So his second gift from Santa is like a Nerf set. So Target not too long ago had all of their stuff, buy two, get one free. So this is one set. And I thought this would be fun for all of us to play together. So it is an eight pack. We are a family of six. Or like if he has a bunch of kids over, friends over for his birthday, um, they can all have like a Nerf gun fight. So I love these. They're all just little small guns there and then of are course they, are they single shooters yes yeah they shoot one at a time so you gotta go chase the bullet down yes yeah chase the dart down. i know but it's a little it's good mm -hmm. exercise exactly and then of course these things get lost and torn so easily so we've got a refill pack and then with all of this he needed some kind of organization <laughs> so we got this as well it's an over the door storage it says eight pouches hold your ammo and battle gear and it straps for dart clips. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that. You there's, could flip it over on the back and there's, there's targets. little targets for dart practice. So that's really, really cool. So that's his second gift from <clears throat> Santa. And then last from Santa for Bryce is a PS4. And again, you definitely want to only get these when they're on sale. Because uh -huh. <laughs> don't ever pay full price, it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, we got this bundle at a pretty good price, not retail value, that's for sure. It comes with three games. Um, what else? It comes with a controller, yeah. obviously, because you need that. Uh, and it will come with uh, like three months free of PlayStation oh. Plus, so there's free games. Every yes, month of that. and we've actually had a PlayStation before mm -hmm. when the kids were a little younger, and it was when Mark and I played more video games, because we are video gamers, just... Yeah. As every year we get older, we don't play anymore. Yeah, I play less and less. Yes, less and less. So we had gotten rid of that, and we got a Nintendo Switch. And that's the only game system that we own right now. And just having that and three kids. Yeah. So. Sometimes Bryce wants to play games that Rose and Pearl just aren't ready for. So I think it'll be nice for him to have his own system. And he does have a few friends from a previous school that he is still in contact with. And they have PlayStations, and now he can play with them, like Vance. Right. He can play games with Vance online, and I think that's going to be cool. And they can keep that connection and friendship going. So, right. I don't know. Lots, lots of decisions that we made this year, but I think that we're happy with it. And I think our kids are going to be super excited. So, we did get him that. Uh, this is going to be something new, though, for me. Just because growing up, I didn't have this kind of stuff in my room. So, I feel like we're definitely going to have to like set some rules and expectations and consequences and all of that. So if you guys have any suggestions or parenting moments that you want to share for electronics and your kids, definitely let me know down below and for anybody else who is curious as well. I mean, always being super helpful with this community. So any advice you guys have, give it to me because I know <laughs> you're used to it and you're like, this is what's going to happen. But this is all new territory for me. No. Alright, so now we are going to go, so our twins, Rose and Pearl, if you guys are new, Rose is the smaller one, however, she is a minute older. She came out first, so right. I'm going to get Rose's stuff together and we're going to share that with you guys. So before I show you guys this Rose's stuff, Mark and I were talking, because we were seriously surprised. We could have sworn we got a smart TV. <laughs> Oopsie. But that's okay, because the PlayStation 4, he can... Watch YouTube on there. Yeah, you can download all that. He can just like a smart download, TV. right? Netflix and right Netflix. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, whew. all right, there we go. Yeah, he should be able to do all that. So stuff. we paid less, which is good because the PlayStation kind of, we it would have been double. He doesn't need a smart TV and right. PlayStation. So okay, I feel better about that because I was starting to get worried. I was like, whoa. 
Did we yeah. seriously just buy this TV just for the PlayStation? <laughs> Alright, good. Got a good deal on it. Yeah, I know, we did. Alright, feel better. Okay, so now Rose, her want, um, and they didn't necessarily, did they ask for this? Nope. They asked. This is another me thing. I've been telling you for a while. I yes. So, how many years have we had the iPad? So all three of our younger kids share one iPad, and it was originally Bryce's, because I feel like... Yeah, he had it back when he was... He had it when he was three? Something like when that. When the girls were like itty, itty, bitty. Um, because I had like ABC Mouse on there, I had YouTube Kids, still have YouTube Kids on there, um, and like little... I think I have like a Daniel Tiger, like it, it's progressed. Mm -hmm. um, the apps were very, very little for him. And it has cracks all through it, so we've had it for... We've caught Rose back in the day standing on top yes. of it. Yes, oh my it's gosh. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, so four or five years mm -hmm. we've had this iPad. And since this year we decided to get Bryce a TV and PlayStation for his room, we did decide to get the girls their own iPads. So that is their want for this year. I think last year they did ask for their own iPads, and we are like, no, no y'all ain't ready yet. But this year, they're... Hopefully they're ready. <laughs> so we did get Rose an iPad. Again, don't pay full price for this stuff because it's super expensive. Wait until you can find a deal where you can save over a hundred bucks. So we got this and then I am going to link this case down below for you guys. I got off of Amazon. This is the same exact case, just in a different color that we have on the iPad that we have had for four plus years and it has held up. Like yep. it's fantastic. This little part right here bends and they can set it up and it sits and it just, I mean, they've dropped it several times. I mean, ours is cracked, but that's because, not because of being dropped, because of kids stepping on the screen. Yeah. Because they're little. But like, the funniest but thing is like back There's from, teeth marks on yeah, it. And Rose would like take it and like hook it on her feet mm -hmm. so she can and keep her legs up in the air so she can watch it. Yes. So funny. Yeah. So th I definitely give this case five stars. Um, it's fantastic. <laughs> so we ordered the same exact case, just in different colors. So Rose's want is an iPad. Um, and then did we get... So the other one we got the smaller mm -hmm. gigabyte, but it really yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, we got this. We got a super deal. We on got this a one. better deal on this one because we bought them at different times because we weren't sure if we wanted to get two or not. Yeah. So iPad case, love this case. I seriously cannot say that enough. So that is Rose's want her need. Again, skipping that. I already shared that in another video, and then her wear. I will pop a picture up of what she really wanted from the Morgs merch, but again. That has not come in, so we just went to Old Navy, and I was like, all right, I need a like filler shirt, and found this on clearance, which it's still long sleeve, and being in Texas, it's kind of nice that their winter stuff goes on clearance early, mm -hmm. because our real winter isn't until January, February. So it's really nice being able to like, buy some stuff on clearance. So this shirt was originally, I don't even know. It was $20. Oh, $20, and we got it for $7. And it's super cute. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does have this like balloon type. I don't know what that's called. I am not a fashionista, but that is super cute. <laughs> it's really, really soft. So we got her that top. And then of course it does not match the bottoms that I originally purchased, which are also from Old Navy. They are leggings that have like rainbow colored hearts all over them. But these pants match the shirt that she was supposed to be getting from the morgues merch. So don't really match, but that's okay. She's still going to love them. So that is her wear. And then her read, just like Bryce, if you guys have been following me and have watched lots of my vlog style videos, you already know what she's getting for her read. But this is what I picked up for her from the Scholastic Book Fair. So I got this Bedtime Adventures. She loves to either read to us or be read to. Like every single night, she gets really upset if they stay up, we let them stay up a little longer and we skip like the reading. She's like, what? Like she loves to be yeah. read to. So this is something that she can kind of do on her own. It's a storybook and projector. It says it projects 20 scenes onto the wall or ceiling as you read. And then it's just, it's Nickelodeon. So it has three different shows in story form on here. So I know she's gonna love that. And then we did get her a chapter book that she can read to us. It is a level two reader. 
and it's my magical friends if you guys know rose she loves unicorns and this one comes with i think it's a bracelet not a necklace yes a bracelet so it has a little unicorn bracelet as well and then of course we got her bookmarks and look at all those unicorns <laughs> so these are magnetic bookmarks and they have unicorns all over them so that is her read so that's everything that we're gifting to them now we'll show you guys the three gifts that santa dropped off all right i almost want one of these for myself <laughs> so soft so first up is let's stick with the unicorn theme and it is this little what are these called little i mean it's a pillow yeah but it's um, i feel like it's called something I don't know. I don't know either. Like, um, like a pillow chair, maybe? A pillow rest or maybe. something like that. But it is like she could either sit on her bed with this or on the floor anywhere and get nice and comfy and just sit back and watch TV or her iPad or read a book, whatever. But it is very, very comfortable. Um, I feel like this is for younger children. However, Rose is very, very petite for her age. So she's super tiny and I do feel like she will fit just fine mm -hmm. in this. So that is one, but to go with that, because we kind of tried to stay like price wise the same as much as we could. So to go with that, now you get to hug on it. <laughs> um, found this also, and this is just a rainbow corn. And I think it's a unicorn style plushie. At least that's what I'm hoping. So it says Sequence Surprise Series 2 only at Walmart. I ordered this online and it just says sweet scented rainbow corn, a rainbow corn poop. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it had slime in it. Oh goodness. Oh geez. They were trying so we were hard trying not to, do to that. stay away from that. Oh my gosh. A surprise accessory. I guess I should have read it. There's 10 layers. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just like you open the egg and there's a stuffy inside. Better than fine print. I guess. Boob corns and then stickers and more. Wow. She's really going to like that. So got that to go with the pillow. And then her second item from Santa is again, several different things together. And the main thing is the doll. I feel like Rose is ready for this. She loves, like, she's just so sweet to kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she loves to carry stuffed animals around. I feel like it would be nice for her to have, like, her own little friend. You know, like a little doll. And this one has glasses, which all three of my younger kids wear glasses. So I think she'll like that. And these are great. These are from Walmart. Target has their own brand as well. Um, and they're both about the same price. They're both about the $25 range, but I just love this one when I saw it because of the glasses and this is vote me for class president. <laughs> so I thought that was super cute. So she's getting this doll and then Rose loves like most of the time on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. She likes to have pajama day, like every single Saturday and Sunday. She's like, yeah, no, I'm just staying in my pajamas. I have to get dressed for school Monday through Friday. On the weekends, I ain't doing it. Nope, not so got her a little pajama set to put on her doll so she can have pajama days with her new friend. And then also got a chair. So her friend has somewhere to hang out with during the day in her room or in the game room, wherever. If Rose is at her desk or if Rose is like reading a book, in her little unicorn area, her doll can sit in this and do the same. So we've got her little egg chair. So that's gift two from Santa. And then like her big one, oh, it's ripped. Yeah, it happened. That's day. okay. Her big one from Santa is this. And if you guys have watched any videos of what I got my kids for Christmas, you've probably seen this a gazillion times. Cause this is like, the want this year for sure is the LOL Amazing Surprise 14 exclusive dolls inside. It also has two play sets inside mm -hmm. here um, and like a total of 70 plus surprises to unwrap. Like it says the ultimate unboxing experience and that's actually how this channel started mm -hmm. was blind bags and unboxings and taste tests and all of that kind of stuff. So. Going back to the roots. Yes, Rose is going to have a good old time with this. So that is her big thing. Yeah, lots of little things to yeah. pick up. But that is everything that we got for Rose. So let's get into our last 
child, which is Pearl. Let's get into her stuff. Okay, so actually before we get into Pearl's want, we did get a few things that are going to be wrapped up for Rose and Pearl combined, just because, I don't know, do you guys do like a number of gifts or amount, like budget per child? This year we did number of gifts, but we tried to pick gifts that were kind of the same amount. Um, but for Rose and Pearl, theirs definitely were a lot less expensive than what we spent on Paige and Bryce. So we did get them two things as a combined gift for, like I already mentioned, we do own a Switch. And now that Bryce is gonna have something for his room, we figured we would pick up two games that Rose and Pearl would really enjoy for the Switch for them to have. So we actually found these at GameStop, which if you guys don't know, you could get things like cheaper, especially if you're a member, you get like discounts on used games and stuff like that. So this is Lego Worlds. It's kind of like a Minecraft, right? Like you yeah. build, but it's with Legos. Yeah, you build. It's, it's, it's basically just like Minecraft, but it's a Lego brand, so. Yeah. yeah, so I think they'll like that. And I mean, of course, Bryce will love this as well. So it's something that he can play if he's not like in his room playing the PlayStation. And one of the things that gets that gets them kind of getting at each other is Bryce has to read everything for them because they don't know how to read yet, just you know, like he does. Right, and as so, well as Bryce. Right, so a game like this or a game like Minecraft, they can just get in there, they can start playing it. Mm -hmm. They don't have to, there's no reading involved necessarily. Yeah, so. and then, oh my gosh, you guys, I, I don't know who's more excited. <laughs> the girls or me? Like, this is so fun. So I've played, they have, did they have 2018? I think so, yeah. I don't think they have 2019. I don't remember. I don't remember. They have a Just Dance already for the Switch, a couple years old. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Like, one, it gets you active, so it gets them moving, and that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And two, they just love music. Like, they have a CD player upstairs. They have several CDs. You can hear them singing all day, every day. Sometimes it's annoying, but <laughs> it's fun. It's good for them, right. Get you know, and all that good stuff. So I saw this one. And can you guys see what that says right there? Probably, Probably not. not. But I'll tell you. It says, new song from Disney Frozen 2. Into the Unknown. Into the Unknown is on here. And you better believe it. I'm going to be singing and dancing that song <laughs> on this game. And I will make sure nobody gets me on camera. But I think that's going to be really fun to play Christmas Day when they open this up and we're like after all the craziness is over and they really start playing with their toys. Maybe I'll share a little clip on, uh, pen, uh, I was going to say Pinterest, on Instagram, because I think they're going to get a kick out of that. I think that's the first one that they're going to try to, to get to. So this is just a lot of fun. Like, I love games like this. It's fun. It gets them moving, gets them active, and it's musical. So it's like all that artistic stuff into one. So that is going to be a combined gift for Rose and Pearl. So for Pearl, for her want, same exact thing as Rose. We got her an iPad as well. Um, they're just a little different. So like Rose's was the sixth generation, 128 gigabits. gigabits. Um, nice. And then this one is the seventh generation, 32. Because we got them, again, we were going to get them one to share. And then we realized, you know what, let's just get them all something and be done with it. Um, but at that point, the one that we got rose was already sold out. Mm -hmm. So, but it was the same price, same price wise. So they're not, they're not using all that storage. Space right. I don't feel like so. we needed the other one. So she's getting this one and then her case, exact same case, just in a bright pink. Again, I love this case. Like seriously, it has held up very, very well. So that is her watch, her wear. I got her the same exact pants as rose because again, this has so many colors in it. That'll match a lot of stuff, and the girls love leggings. So I got her leggings, and then still waiting on her Morgs merch, so I'll pop up the shirt that I got for her. Actually, I got her and Rose personalized one, so I don't know if I can show you exactly what they look like, but I can show you like an overview. And then her same exact style shirt, just hers is blue. They didn't have the pink one in her size, so I got her blue, but she'll still like that. And again, this was $20, but marked down to $6.99. So that was a great find. Super soft. Love Old Navy. Uh, and then I skipped her need if I was going like in sequence, want, need, wear, read. Her need, again, video link down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but for her read, you guys might have already seen this. But these are the two books that I picked up for her from the Scholastic Book Fair. 
This one is a Disney Princess Lego Meet the Princesses. So it is a book slash activity book so she can draw in it. It has a couple stories and then it does come with a small little collection of Legos here and it has, there we go, directions inside on how to put it together. So it's like a little clock tower. So Pearl loves activities and activity books and anything arts and craftsy. So does Rose, but I feel like Pearl loves like the booklets more. Like we have several of the school books, the big ones that you can get at Costco or Sam's, like when they come out with them over the summer to keep your kids learning during break, she'll sit down and just do that in our computer room sometimes. So I got her that one and then I got her a level two reader. So she's actually over a level two now. I think she's a level four. I don't remember, um, but she's definitely been progressing a lot this year. So this should be super easy for her to read, but she'll like it. And it is Pet Charms Owl Rescue. So this one, again, is just a book about an owl and it does come, I think that's a bracelet, not a necklace as well. So I think she'll enjoy reading that. And then of course we got her bookmarks as well. It was actually kind of hard to get some for Pearl. I was trying to find some different ones, but then I saw that these were scented and I know she's going to love that. I'm pretty sure they all smell the same. Cherry, Cherry, pie. Cherry pie. Yeah, I just saw that but they're all like little sweet treats. So she should love that. So that's everything that Mark and I are gifting to her. Now I'll show you guys what Santa brought for her. Okay, first up is a big one. I don't even know if I can fit it all in here. Right. Oh, but the glare is bad. There, there we go. go. So we actually found this at Costco and this is four Barbie dolls and a truck. So this is one thing that she had on her wish list. She didn't specify like certain Barbies or anything like that. She just said, I want Barbies. <laughs> so I know she'll love this. So we got that. And then next up is like a bunch of little things. And I'll show you the bigger thing first. But this is from Sam's. Sam's or Costco? Ooh, I can't remember. I think Sam's. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Sam's because our Costco membership is relatively new. We actually got this like over the summer mm -hmm. or something. So we've been hiding this for a while and she loves Jojo. And actually the last time I talked about Jojo, several of you reached out and thankfully let me know that she's going to be not in our area, but close enough next year. So you better believe I'm going to get online and buy tickets <laughs> because Rose and Pearl will definitely love going there. I'll actually probably ask Pearl. I'm, um, I'll actually probably ask Paige also if she wants to go. She might enjoy going. She likes to go to concerts. So yeah, hopefully we can do that next year. But yeah, she loves JoJo. So we got that big old set of bows. But that was like relatively cheap. So we needed to bulk it up a little bit to kind of, <laughs> you know, like I said, kind of matchy match everything. So I found a DVD of, I think it has some of her singing. Uh, it says, hang with the pop sensation as she rings in her 16th birthday with go-karting, baking, indoor skydiving, and of course, the most magical party ever. So that's gonna be fun. So we got that to go with it. And then she said she's into Barbies. So I actually ordered this online from Amazon <laughs> and I thought it was a full-size Barbie but it's not it's six inches it's half it's a little one like a chelsea doll so i think she'll still get a kick out of that and she'll have fun with that so we got her that and then i actually found this at big lots right after halloween so it was at least 50 percent off it may have even been 75 i can't remember how or when i found it so it is jojo's costume so i know pearl is going to absolutely love that so those all kind of go together and then for her last gift from Santa, I will have to pop up a picture because the box is completely brown. You wouldn't even know what it is. And it is, I don't even remember which one we ended up getting, but it's one of the LOL like doll houses. So you got a little, you got some yeah, together, to together to do. Yeah, put it together, <laughs> hanging stuff. Yes, oh yeah. my gosh. The next, to put this together. Yeah, the I'm next like week after Christmas is gonna be busy getting mm -hmm. things together but I think it's gonna be fun. So you guys can look at the picture I already popped up, but that is Pearl's like big gift from Santa. And that's it. I feel like- That's it? Like, yeah, like it's a small Christmas, but 
expensive. It was pretty yeah, expensive. Everything expensive. adds up. Well, of course, when you have four kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're shopping for four kids, so it adds up. But I think we did really good. I think the kids are going to be surprised. And we are not going to, in the past, I have vlogged Christmas morning, but we're not going to do that this year. This year, we are just going to sit back, enjoy, just pay attention to our kids' faces, watch them open everything, play with everything, all of that. And maybe I will, be. exactly, I'll post pictures on Instagram and share over there, maybe on the stories here on my community tab. But um, yeah, we're just going to take it all in and watch our little faces. So we are very, very excited. But like I said, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's not going to give you guys any ideas because I didn't put it out before Christmas, but I really did not want to ruin the surprise at all for any of them. So I figured I would share it on Christmas Day so we could also wish you a happy holiday, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys, again, are having a fantastic day, whatever day you are watching this, even if it's after Christmas. I hope you're having a good one. But that is it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love seeing what other people got their kids for Christmas. I have been binge watching them lately and I love it. Subscribe if you are new. I am still trying to post a video to end this month every single day and then I'll get back to my regular three to four uploads a week in January. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow in a new one. Bye guys. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling